The program is a cultural resource uh, coordinator. We set up program uh, mostly in collaboration to try and enhance other programs, but also do some of my own initiatives. Uh, are we, we go from children, youth, families, uh, trying to uh, raise cultural awareness, different approaches, help foster uh, stronger sense of well-being and positive indigenous identity. We have uh, drum nights, I do hand drum making, workshops, have created initiatives with um, outside agencies to raise the awareness about our issues, uh, both within uh, governmental societal levels, individual levels, um, try to answer questions to those outside uh, agencies to help them get a better understanding about who we are and and help them understand more about our concerns and focuses through the organization as a as a service provider to hopefully help uh, gain some outsources or gain some new allies in, in, in our in our community. I've done some work with with a. Uh, uh, a local church group We've done the blanket exercise with them uh, which went, went really well in, in bringing to light a lot of things of history that they never knew existed before gave them a deeper understanding of how long uh, we've been actually uh, colonized and, and how aggressive the government has been at passing uh, legislation to, to keep us under thumb I guess, so to speak, right? Uh, and I've also um, had them watch films, um, one of them being a uh, um, um, real engine to show them how media has had played a role in the societal level of, of, of uh, racist and prejudiced attitudes towards us. And a lot of them identified with with how much that actually did occur even within their own families and were in, in their own words is it really raised the bar for them to to know where a lot of this stuff actually started and came from yes yeah, drum groups are weekly and we get families we uh, work with other coordinators they bring different proponents of their client base in we have a lot of referrals from our justice diversion program, which is which I'm also an active part of, part of my uh, part of some of my uh, uh, duties and responsibilities, and that's helping the ones who are within the justice system get back reconnected to us. So hopefully we can uh, you know get them started on their own good path for themselves and make our own community a lot stronger. Myself personally, I, I measure it on an individual level. Which is always uh, more about how that person has uh, has started back onto the path of rediscovery for themselves, whether they have knowledge of who they are or not. You know, knowing uh, knowing that somebody is out there and has come back to the community who has knowledge is keen for myself because I'll engage them with helping to help educate the others at the same time so create some some peer mentoring uh, opportunities as much as possible so so I'm not the only person sitting in the circle who has knowledge and I want to make sure that everybody is inclusive that everybody carries a knowledge base with them and for the ones that don't know it's hopefully to 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 uh to a light of fire of them to start doing their research for themselves. Being at a program, you can only be there for you know, a couple of hours. You can only mm -hmm. start getting so much knowledge. But if you're keen on finding out for yourself, you can just go out and do it for yourself. And it's a beautiful thing to watch somebody go out and, and, and start rediscovering their life uh, on their own. The other programs that are available within, within the, the federation level services that are provided whatever it is that they're trying to look for. when you know, they, they need more literacy, they need some life skills. You know, do they, do they need to go you know, for some therapy? Do they feel that's the best thing for them? Do they want to hook up with some different crafts people? You know, get to know some uh, uh, artists, get to know some other fellow musicians or 
or drums or even hooking them up with going to, you know, other events, taking them to other events, even just directing them online to just look and see how wide the variety of things are that are available for people to do for the ones they're keen on trying to do that for themselves first and foremost and if there's something that you know that we can't or for whatever reason the individual doesn't seem like it's a fit then of course just outsource them wherever help them help them to just gain confidence for themselves anywhere possible it doesn't matter where that is so sometimes it's hard it's hard to get an individual to enroll but just keep on encouraging just come back come back come back and you know let, let them know that the door is always open and and it's actually worked a couple of times you know some of them have some of them that are are, are struggling within themselves they have a they have a hard time uh it seems to be with trust level but they keep coming back, so that's that, that that says something right there. So mm -hmm. don't discourage that that part at all. The education has to come from our peoples too. Um, we have to be careful about who is who is out there um, sourcing out information at a cost to whomever, without you know having any affiliation with any of our peoples across the land. There's been a lot of that that's gone on in the past too. So, so for us to be diligent about about who it is that's offering what to our children is massive, right. it's massive, and, and, it, and it should be it, it should be uh, specific to 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 the child's needs, not to not to not not to the needs of the grant or the proposal or the organization's mission and statements and vision statements it needs to be simply about the children you know, what are the children's needs and we have the knowledge now to figure that out my experience so far in this uh, short path stemming back to well i guess most of my life anyway but To, to to learn about uh, who you are as an individual, where you come from, who your peoples are, uh, ties in greatly to the question that we all have as, well, as to why we're here. That'll help in your own personal journey to discern what it is you would like to do moving forward in your life having having a root base of knowledge that is innate within each individual um, makes for how would you say uh, sort of balanced individuals you know, we, we, we know where we, be where we belong as pertains to the land base here as the, as the Haudenosaunee peoples. Learning about that for myself created so much pride and confidence within myself as an individual and gave me the strength to move forward and pursue my own educational goals, my own cultural our own ways of life, become more affiliated, more recognizing, more understanding of how our peoples have done things for each other as as individuals and families and nations for thousands of years. Th that to me is very keen moving forward again with your life. Mm -hmm. with, with, with the confidence level, I was able to not only go back to high school, go to university, sit on board of directors, geared towards Aboriginal education, and all for the same reasons that everybody else is doing it too. And that is to, and that is to assure that our that our futures is going to be for us and by us. And passing on knowledge through music is what I'm keen on. Music is something that's lacking big time within our own. Um, when we talk about indigenous education, to me, music is one of the most important things 
that was uh, given to us as human beings across this planet. All of all the things that were kept by by our ancestors uh, during all the years of colonization, it was it was our music basis that persevered and came through the strongest. All the songs, of course, with their ceremonies, all the songs were rites of passage. Those are what are still around more than anything else, and there's a reason for that. And I think we're yet to even discover the true meaning of of how valuable music was and is for us. Mm -hmm. um, not only as nations of people, but as human beings too. Our, our ancestors were, they were, they were pretty knowledgeable people. <laughs> they, they had a lot of things figured out and because of this contemporary setting that we live in today in this, in this, in this 20th, in this 21st century, we think we know everything and, and yet we still strive to try to find peace in our everyday lives. And they were living it for thousands of years. You know, just that act alone speaks volumes into how much knowledge they have. I always share with other people too that you know, if you look at a medicine person around the world, if somebody asks them to come and, and have a ceremony done for an individual, you know, the medicine person back then would have known the individual, would have known the individual's families at very least and be able to gain a little bit better understanding of the individual who is who is in uh, who is asking for some assistance. And the medicine person would make earthly concoctions for them. But there was also music. There was also yeah. song. It was always different. The songs are never the same. They they pertain to each individual. You know, so that, that knowledge base of music we've dropped or lost or forgotten about along this last 500 plus years. So there's still a lot in there that we, we, we're, we're still missing. And I'd, like to, I'd like to personally see more, more musical uh, programming instilled within, within our education. It's so keen, we can see from all of our artists that are that are coming more and more uh, prevalent in in today's society you know, with, with, with the uh, with the songs that talk about you know, wake up and rise you know stand up for ourselves mm -hmm. you know, talk about all of the uh, missing murder aboriginal women you know from Ira Hayes, a lot of people know Ira Hayes was, was a native man, they don't know the whole story behind Ira Hayes and that he was a real person who went through and went through hell just to serve in the United States uh, military. You know? I, that's the way I like to share knowledge because that's what I'm keen on, is music. Anything that has to do with music is what yeah. Like lights the spark in my eyes and, yeah. and gets my heart ticking because you know yeah. to me it's it's so important being being a singer or being a guitar player a musician a drummer you know all of that's very very important to my uh, to my to, to my own personal um, my own personal therapy mm -hmm. I mean, keeping me in balance mentally physically spiritually emotionally just recently at the um, the Native American Music Awards. There was a gentleman there who was it was his grandfather. He had come out and sing some traditional songs, and then he incorporated into classical music on the spot on his keyboard. You know, it was so such a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece to watch and to watch him interpret the, the, those those songs into something. Uh, equally as beautiful as the song in itself with through the classical music. Mm -hmm. Those doors are starting to become uh, open for us as our kids start to become more uh, more keen on music yeah. today you know, with, with the song base that we carry for ourselves and using that as the sort of sort of the, uh, the jumping board into creating. Uh, new styles of music. You know, you look at DJ Shub, he created his own genre. DJ Shub from Tribe Called Red, they created their own genre of music. Yeah. You know, you know and it's just those types of things to see the more education in the music uh, department.
New Zealand, they have what they call community musicians. And they're encouraged and they're given a role within community to be an important factor because it's a knowledge base in itself. That I know from, from, I know from participating that our musical knowledge base is massive, 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 massive. You know, and it's, it's the one thing we all have this great amount of knowledge about and we don't ever get to use it <laughs> anywhere. Right? You know, it's such a, it, it's such, music has the power and the ability to burn neuron paths in our brains. And it's suggested that if we use, this is from uh, contemporary science, that if we use music from our children when they're young age, that'll be easier for them to learn and absorb information as they grow older because those neuron paths are already there. Yeah. You know, we kind of burn the paths with music. All we have to do is just fill it in with information after that. But that, I think that's something that our, that our ancestors knew something about. Well, because it was such a different world setting back then. I seen one experiment on staying done in a, uh, in a MRI and he was uh, jazz, improvising, uh, kind of scatting uh, to music. You know, they actually watched his brain in activity as he was doing that to see how many different parts of the brain he was using and how that light activity, you know, was, was, it was actually both hemispheres that were being used at the same time. So I think that, you know, if we started doing things like that towards the future and understanding our own musics music bases and the power it has on us as individuals.